in the map in the executed image. In the image. So that is the situation. If you start Smalltalk X as you downloaded it from our website, you will initially have this stuff. Everything is compiled to machine code. We are the STC compiler. But if you start with the browser to change things, they will be replaced, they will replace assets by byte processes. And when you execute it the first time, it will create machine code internally. And this is what I'm going to show you first, because that's very different from what I was talking about. So this one does have an image to the light, but it doesn't need one. And when you start small talk from scratch, and you look into a class, let me look, for example, a very popular class. Let's say we go to all the collection. And we look at, I don't know, something like this. This is a typical small talk method. And there is a special menu here which says inspect method. We can have a look into the object. And here we see the instance variables. And the funny thing is here you see an instance variable named bytecode, which is new. And you see another instance variable which is named code, which is an external address pointing to a piece to the STC compiled function. And if I now change something in here, maybe I I add a halt. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Because first might be used somewhere. <laughs> we will see that it. Um, if I now look at this method again, you will now see that it has bye bye, it has already been called. Let's, <laughs> let's use something else. Let's use, I don't know, let's use the clear contents. That's probably very, very unpopular. Um, Let's change this one. And inspect it now. Here you now see it has no longer any code, but it has bytecode, as the usual small talk writes, the usual words and so on. You can even recompile that stuff. Uh, 